Guess who's back in the house with a bunch of souvenirs and a smile for your mouth. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Channel is the third Ernest. My name is Ernest Adiano, the third, and y'all guys are the third family. If you're not subscribed, you're a potential member of the third family. Please consider subscribing at the end of this video if you like what you see. If this is not your first video, please consider subscribing. And if you're already a subscriber, big ups. Appreciate you. But Lil Dicky went on Sway in the morning, went in the land of the hyenas, and dropped some fucking bars like he's been known to do in the past. If you don't know anything about Sway in the morning, it's the number one radio show on Sirius XM satellite radio. Sway is an icon in the hip hop community for journalism, for interviews, for hip hop culture. And when you come on Sway in the morning as a rapper, and if you're asked to freestyle, if you step into the land of the hyenas, you better bring some hot shit. Because you're either going to eat or get eaten. There's no church in the wild when you go to Sway in the morning. And Lil Dicky dropped some heat last time he was there. It's been a minute since he put out his album and the whole world is waiting. All his fan base is actually getting pretty pissed off that he's taking so long. But what can we do? The boy's got a life to live. But let's just go ahead and jump on into it. Let's see if he brings the heat to the land of the hyenas again. Like he's been known to do. Plenty of people sleep on Lil Dicky because he's a white rapper and he's a funny guy. That's just surface level. When you dig deep, the boy's got bars. And let's find out if he brings them. One more again. Let's go. I know you got a new TV show that's coming out about your life loosely. Be relevant. Okay, I know that you had over 30. <laughs> it is irrelevant because we're waiting on that new heat. The show's gonna be bomb. The dude's too much of a comedic genius for it not to be funny, but we want Lil Diggy's bars. <laughs> 33 of the biggest stars do your video. Who cares, I know that Leonardo DiCaprio, you went by his house and hung out with him and used his bathroom. That's cool. Okay, but none of that matters when you come to Sway in the morning. You must have bars. <laughs> you must have bars. That's what I said on the intro. You're welcome, Sway. I brought the fucking hype. No lie, you must got bars. Welcome to the Valley of the Hyenas. The Show Valley of the five. Hyenas. Lil Dicky, still turn the rock. Wonder, drop a beat on him. Sway in the morning, Shay. Turn, 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 turn that beat up. That whole bounces. Get the headphones. Okay, turn it up. Turn it up, OQ. Roll up the sleeves. Time to put in work. Get serious, there we go. Lil old dick and I'm back in this bitch. I know y'all know when I rap what it is. All first on fib. Got a gang full of hits in touch with the kids like a pedo. Ugh, I'm a jam. Got a gang full of hits in touch with the kids like a pedo. He means pedophile. In touch like you're touching kids. And the fact he just says Lil Dick. Like his name is just stupid. Facts on fib, got a gang full of hits in touch with the kids like a pedo. Ugh, I'm a jam like Shaq, I'm a bang when I wish. Up in this bitch like a feed us. Ain't no timelines when you timeless. Hold up, MJ, 96, me and I'm back on my bullshit. You know it. Hold up, MJ96, I'm back on my bullshit. MJ96 is when MJ came back to the Bulls after his little retirement so we could go play double A baseball for like two years. MJ96 came back to the Bulls. I'm back on my bullshit. I'm a jam like Shaq, keeping it within the same basketball theme. And then this is where the humor bars come in. Up in this bitch like a fetus. Who even thinks of that? Who thinks like that? Oh hell yeah, I'm up in this bitch like a fetus. The hardest bar though of that part besides the MJ bar, there's no timelines when you're timeless. Because you're here. There's no beginning and end. You're just here. You're here to stay. So there is no timeline because time doesn't apply to you. You're timeless. That's fire. MJ, 96 million, I'm back on my bullshit. You know I'm uh. hard like a full dick. Uh. Urban and white. With. Stay with the bread like some cool whip though. <laughs> I come hard like a full dick. I come hard with the bars like a full dick. Dicks, when they're hard, full of cum, come hard ejaculation. A suburban and white whip. Because white kids always be trying to hit that whip and nay nay for some reason. Most rappers say we have a gang full of black suburbans so we can roll the squad in. He's saying I got a white suburban. Like a full dick. Suburban and white. Whip. Stay with the bread like some cool whip though. Look how it spreads. Cool whip flow. Ooh. I can make them right with an IG live. And my girl got bombs on a bi G hot. And between uh. her legs is looking right. High pot and noose. Ugh. Bring it. And between my girl's legs is looking right. She's got that shit looking tight. Right like a hypotenuse. Like a right angle. Like a right triangle that comes to a 90 degree angle. Has a hypotenuse. Look how it's spread. I got a cool whip flow. Like you spread cool whip. My girl got bombs on her bod like a jihad. Bruh. Talking about bombs, like bombshells, like Tigo Bitties, but like a jihad who puts a vest of bombs on because they're suicide bombers. 
This boy got bars. I don't even, I don't know what to tell you. Like, like if you're a fan of Little Dicky, you know. If you're not, and this is your first time hearing him, you're about to learn. Between her legs is looking right, hypotenuse. Ooh, Ooh. break it all down. Hold up, sway, let me bring it all down. Been out here, citizenship. Look at how I got everybody tuned in right now. They were... Been out here, citizenship. You see how he's kind of touching on these controversial topics too in like a comical way? Wait, let me bring it all down. Been out here, citizenship. Look at how I got everybody tuned in right now. They'll probably watch this for an hour. Tracy, I brought you flowers. Oh! <laughs> Bro, he actually brought her flowers. I've been talking about them shipping up for a little bit. Like, it's not gonna work, but it'd be nice. It'd be funny. It'd be cool. Just to laugh. Tracy, I brought you flowers. They've been bringing this back. They'll probably play this for an hour. I bet you mad people are gonna have to listen to this freestyle multiple times to catch all these bars. Like, every line, every other line is a bar. How do you even have, like, the foresight to put that into the rhyme and then bring the flowers? This is obviously not off the top of the dome. Because, first off, no one can spit like this off of the top of the dome. I've never heard anybody. Eminem spits off the top of the dome and rhymes dope, but he normally can't come with these kind of bars off the top of the dome. Every line is wordplay. Now impossible that is, in this speed. But the fact that he had the foresight to write the freestyle and bring the flowers. Gas out the ass like flatulence. I was slapped on like mattresses. Mm. I got my head right aspirin. I'm cashing in. I'm cashing in. I'm not about to hold a paper and display it like a thumbtack. No touchback. They about to run his back. I'm not about to hold my paper and display it like a thumbtack. I'm not about to try to flex on you with my paper. Like these other rappers, they display their paper on the gram. They hold it like they're talking on the phone with a stack. Like no one gives a fuck about that. No one cares how much money you have. You're a rapper in the public eye who's got a record deal. You're supposed to have money. So the fact that you're flexing your money makes it seem like you're insecure because you are insecure. The only people that care about that are people that have that same mentality. But he says, I'm not to go and display my paper like a thumbtack. Like when you put a paper on the wall and you display it with a thumbtack. And he said, no touchback. They about to run this back for all my international peeps who don't watch American football. First off, run it back is when you rewind the song so that you can listen to it again, you run back the track. But a run back in American football is on the kickoff. The receiver runs it all the way back for a touchdown. But when you touch back, you don't have the opportunity to run it back. When you touch back in the end zone, the play's dead and it automatically gets advanced. So he's saying they're about to run it back, no touchback. He says, I got gas out my ass like flatulent. See, that's like a funny line, but it's such a bar though. It's like flatulent. I was slept on like mattresses. I got my head right aspirin. I'm slept, passionate. Slept on like mattresses, head right like aspirin. Those are straightforward bars, but bars back to back, three in a row. I'm not about to hold a paper and display it like a thumbtack. No touchback, they about to run his back. And if you ever met me, you root for me, sharp shit. Come on, I'm a dome, I'm a unicorn. Pardon my breath. Sharp shit coming out my dome, I'm a unicorn. Like the lyrics and the bars are so sharp, coming out the top of the dome like a unicorn horn. I'm gonna be tired at the end of this video because it's taking a lot of brain power to catch these bars this quick. And if you ever met me, you root for me, sharp shit. Come on, I'm a dome, I'm a unicorn. Part of my breath, only Perky said I fuck with his breast. Elevator oh. kissing hoes at the wrist. Freaky Friday I get in, I'm like, Chris, wait. The only Perkies that we fucking with is breasts. Like, we ain't fucking with the Xanax. We ain't, we ain't fucking with the Percocets. The only Perkies that we're fucking with are Perky breasts. Facts. Ditto. On the sentiment. And he said, Freaky Friday, I get in these hoes like Chris. Chris Brown pulls mad hoes. And Freaky Friday is the song that he had with Chris Brown where they switched bodies. Sway, pass me the rock, get it, post, jab, up fake, hump, jump into them, two shots at the line. I got him like a mine. What? He goes into that whole basketball scheme and then he just goes right back into his flow. I got all the critics quiet like a mine. I got him like a mine. Odell, I beg a mic cut on a dime, glow in the dark, see me anytime. You put the Xbox controller on my dick and let it vibrate how I jerked off as a child. Came a long way, now I'm like, hey, girl, you, me, fuck, and this shit work. Hey, her brother Luke Bro, who says that about the way they used to masturbate back in the day? It's funny because it's true. Women are gonna pretend like that's disgusting when they forget that some women go out there and sit on unbalanced washing machines because of the vibration. Don't let these queens bring you down, kings. You masturbate however you want. But he says, I used to masturbate by putting the Xbox controller on my dick when I was a kid. We've come a long way and now I'm like, hey, you, ho, wanna fuck? 
cool. And it works. He said, I'm glow in the dark. You can come and see me anytime. Talking about the chicks. You can come and you can come over and fuck whenever you want. Talking about the haters too. You feeling froggy? Let's jump. We can do this anytime. Come see me. Come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. You don't never come to me. Why you gotta stop, girl? Why you gotta stop? Say we make time for the things that we want. Now I'm like, hey, girl, you, me, fuck, and it shit work. Hey, her brother looking at me like, hey, fuck her, bro. Sway, her brother looking at me like, hey, fuck her, bro. <laughs> Her brother looking at me like, hey, fuck her, bro, do it. So I can say my sister got fucked by Lil Dicky and I'll get mad props for that. It's like I got fucked through association by Lil Dicky. No homo, but all homo at the same time. And look at Lil Dicky's face. Like he knows what he's saying is ridiculous. Look at him when he's hey, talking to Sway. You, me, fuck, and it should work. Hey, her brother looking at me like, hey, fuck her, bro. Look at Sway, him. Her brother looking at me like, hey, fuck her, bro. <laughs> I'm like Kareem Abdul. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. These hooks got me scoring. See me coming from afar. Right in France. I'm like Kareem, Kareem. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. That's fire just that by itself. But these hooks got me scoring. Kareem Abdul Jabbar was the one that signatured the sky hook. And the hooks got him scoring two points. The hooks that Lil Dicky writes got him scoring. Scoring bitches, scoring money, scoring deals, scoring success. Got me scoring. See me coming from afar. Rapping in France. I never need an advance. I'm switching it up like I'm trans. I'll go Ooh. on the Trojan, man. I'm eating the pussy like cervical cancer. I know where That's such. Two times he goes on Sway in the morning and says some controversial shit. That's got Sway like, whoa. He didn't just say that on my morning show. He says, although on the Trojan man, cause he's the sponsor and he's a spokesperson for Trojan condoms and all about safe sex and everything. He says he's eating the pussy like cervical cancer. That's such a fucked line, but it's also a fucking bar. Like it's funny in the context that we're talking about it, even though it's not funny. And then going back, the way he flexes is so chill. He just says, I never need an advance. Like, I don't gotta tell you that I got mad stuff. Tax, just know that I don't need an advance on my checks because I got enough money in the bank for the rest of my life to clear and I, I'll be switching it up like I'm trans like I'm transvestite I'm eating the pussy like cervical cancer I know where I'm going but shit if my GPS died I sleep in my sedan I can't do the shmurda dance I, I get caught up looking <laughs> you know? look at the disappointment in his face because he's like I got the bars but I, I can't do the shmurda dance and then no one even heard the next two bars after the cervical cancer line because everybody's just so distraught the fact that he said that. Look, listen. Pussy like cervical cancer. I know Whoa. what I'm doing, but shit, if my GPS died, I sleep in my sedan. I can't do the shmurda dance. I, I get caught up. Look at you. Uh, that's you know? a for you. Sometimes I'll catch it for a minute. OJ with it, y'all wonder how I did it. Ah. My mom hit me once, she lugged it in Sue, but I'll stomp y'all out like a Dominican Sue. I'm OJ with it, you wonder how I did it. Like, you wonder how I came up, you wonder how I looked like this white boy Jewish kid, and I got these bars. You wondering how I did this. Just like you wonder how OJ committed the two murders and got away with it when all the evidence was stacked against him. That's a rowdy comparison. He says, my mom hit me once. She's lucky I ain't sue her ass, but I stomped people's asses out like a Dominican Sioux. Again, for the people that don't watch American football, a Dominican Sioux is a guy who is known for having a temper and not exactly the best sportsman ever. He literally stomps on people with cleats while they're down on the ground. But back to the hitting line. If I sued my father for every time that he hit me with a belt, I'd be set for the rest of my life. I'd put him in, I'd put that shit in bonds, let it make money for me, let the stock market work for me, and I'll just live the rest of my life on interest. That's how much money I would have. But I don't even mind because I was a dick when I was a kid and I needed to be hit. I'm all for spanking your kids. We got a whole generation of fucking pussies because they didn't get hit because they got away with too much shit that shouldn't never gotten away with. I'm y'all loud like a Dominican suit. All the shoe brands wanted me to sign. I remember they thought I was Lonely Island. There will not be another like me. I could go viral if I put out a snippet. I'm sick like a coder. You really could get it. I always mm. be playing just like I'm embedded. I always be playing just like I'm embedded. My flows are hot. But I'm always playing around like I'm embedded, like an embedded music video, like an embedded song. For those of you that remember MySpace, whenever somebody would literally put in your comment section a music video, and then whenever somebody went to that comment section, it would automatically play because it was embedded into the comment section. Shit was mad annoying. You had to go in there and fucking pause all the videos. But that's a bar. And he said, people thought I was Lonely Island. Like Lonely Island was cheesy and corny, but they were funny and they had bars. It was more of like a satirical hip hop group. This dude is not satirical. He's a serious rapper 
who happens to be funny and intelligent and smart as fuck with his bars. And he says, I could go viral if I put out a snippet, like pretty much what's gonna happen with this right here. I'm sick with it, I'm like a cold, all y'all could get it. A cold is literally a virus. So viral, cold, all y'all can get this. All y'all can get this heat. Get it, I'll always be playing just like I'm embedded. I got a leg up like Ottomans though on my television show is coming, but that is irrelevant. Right now I'm rapping like presents get. Bro, you see the bars this dude's spitting that no one's ever thought of before. I got a leg up like Ottomans though. Like when you're tying your shoe on an ottoman, you put your leg up. By the way, these socks are of Nima. Got them for Christmas from the Rents. Fire. Leg up like ottoman. Right now I'm rapping like presents get. W-R-A-P versus R-A-P. How did I get here? I got big rapping like Diddy, I'm prevalent. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got big rapping like Diddy. I got big rapping like Diddy, cause Diddy blew up as a rapper, but I got big, the notorious B.I.G. rapping like Diddy, who Diddy signed. Bruh, that one probably went over a couple of people's heads because that bar was so quick, you might not even have known it was there. And if you did, props to you. Diddy, I'm prevalent. Hold up, let me find a melody. All hey. my fans are getting mad at me. They just want to hear me spazzing now, but I just had to put a couple smashes out. How is this shit a pop star? He even knows his fans are getting pissed. I was talking about his fans getting mad that he hasn't put an album out in like four years, five years. Even I'm like, bro, I got patience. I understand the creative process takes some time, but four fucking years? Figure it out. Me. They just want to hear me spazzing now, but I just had to put a couple smashes out. How is this shit a pop star? <laughs> that name is a dick joke. How did he make it that far? When you think he's gonna stop, he just starts spitting again. He said, how is this right here? How is this face a rap star? My rap name is a dick joke. Like, how did this even happen? Lil Dicky, I, I thought of that rap name as a joke and now it's stuck. Now we're here, all these dudes calling me Lil Dicky. And he goes right back into his flow. Good pussy at the crib like a house cat. Feral cats will never be able to be domesticated. But if you have a domestic cat, it's technically good. So you have a good pussy. But he's talking about good vagina at the house. I'm going to be ready for bed after this one. My mind's working overtime. Good pussy at the crib like a house cat. They're waiting on my buzz like the Outback. In and out with the bag like I make tea. Ah. When I do shop and spree. Eyebrows long like AD. Girl they waiting on my buzz. Like I'm, my buzz is growing. They waiting on my buzz like at Outback. Like an Outback Steakhouse when you're waiting and you have that fucking buzzer. In and out of my bag. Like I'm in my bag, I'm out my bag. Like I'm making tea, in and out of the tea. Girls get wet like Navy. Girls get wet like Navy? Like Navy, pull up like I'm Stephen shoot cream. Players in the NBA text me. If I want a Diet Coke, someone brings me Diet Coke. All my live shows nuts like I expose testicles. Hold up, wait. Let me add. All my live shows nuts like I expose testicles. Nuts, testicles, and then another flex without it being a flex. If I want Diet Coke, someone brings me Diet Coke. Someone's waiting on my hand and foot at all times. I expose testicles. Hold up, wait. Let me add live my shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at my penmanship. I write this. I'm a Carl Jr. model. For real. Just on the side like soccer moms. Mm. I would have sold you stock and His little ad libs just because. But then he says, I'm a Carl's Jr. model, for real though. On the side, like soccer moms. Soccer moms sit on the sidelines of the games. He's a Carl's Jr. model on the side. Just on the side, like soccer moms. I could have sold you stocking bonds. Have mm. so fast like Ramadan, the Autobahn, the Shaman running down the bomb from Carson's arm. I'm off the farm, I'm on the court, the Jumbotron is on the Ooh. board, and where is on the run is not I didn't hear anything he said right there, because I was just too busy in the scheme. He says, I could have sold you stocking bonds. Don't get it twisted, your boy's smart as fuck. I got that degree in marketing and finance. I could have been selling you stocks and bonds. But this whole life that I got happened so fast, like Ramadan. Like you fast, like you don't eat during Ramadan, but also fast like Autobahn, with no speed limit, drive as fast as you want. I could have sold you stock and bonds. Have it so fast like Ramadan, the Autobahn, the Shaman running down the bomb from Carson's arm. I'm off the farm, I'm on the court, the Jumbotron is on the board, they playing my song, LeBron is not it. I'm off the farm, I'm on the court, like I'm here. I'm doing this damn thing. I'm on the Jumbotron, they playing my song, LeBron is nodding along. I'm on the bomb from Carson's arm, I'm off the farm, I'm on the court, the Jumbotron is on the board, they playing my song, LeBron is nodding. Whew. Am I James Worthy? Look at my bars, I'm made off like Bernie. <laughs> oh. Look at my bars, I'm made off like Bernie. Like Bernie Madoff, who's behind bars for the Ponzi scheme. Fine. Even he knows he's got the flow. Look at this. Look at my bars, I'm made off like Bernie. <laughs> We having fun. Girls see me and start blushing just because I'm around. I used to always get a boner at my physical sway. If this is cultural appropriation, what can I say? <laughs> but would you? 
If this is cultural appropriation, what can I say? Sorry, not sorry. Sorry I'm better than you rappers who think that I'm culturally appropriating your style of music. It's such a serious topic that people take offense to that white people come in and appropriate black culture and use it to their benefit. And he's just here making fun of it like, hey, what can I say? If the shit works, I'ma do it. Appropriation, what can I say? What would you have me do? You know I gotta rap. But the times now are scary. Hold up, wait, take a step back, Dave. Think about the shit. Internet is a permanent place. This is gonna live forever. Uh, breathe, analyze, think about everything. I'm such an idiot. I used to cover R. Kelly songs at my shows without even knowing it was problematic. I feel the pressure. See how he's talking to like such a serious topic, like the things that everybody puts out on the internet. People don't think about the fact that the internet is here forever. Whenever you delete something, it's deleted off your feed, but it's always gonna be on the internet. Somebody could potentially find anything at any time about anything you've ever written or done on the internet. And he's saying, I didn't even think about it. I was making jokes and covering songs that R. Kelly didn't even know the shit was popping off like it did. I'm such an idiot. I used to cover R. Kelly songs at my shows without even knowing it was problematic. I feel the pressure under more scrutiny. What I do, act more Jewishly. Go this way, write my eulogy. You see how he just took that Kanye bar and flipped it? I feel the pressure under more scrutiny. And what I do, act more stupidly. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me. The drama, people suing me. I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me. Talking about serious shit, but then turns it into a fucking joke. I feel the pressure under more scrutiny and what I do, I act more Jewishly. And there is a way of acting Jewish. It's a stereotype, but stereotypes are half truth nonetheless. Maybe I got a thick skin and I don't care what people say about my culture. Feel the pressure under more scrutiny. What I do, act more Jewishly. Come on, Sway, break my eulogy. Am I looking like I need to get a job or looking like I need a bodyguard? I Ooh. play tennis with Leonardo. How y'all train on track like cargo? I don't dumb, don't dumb it up. I play tennis with Leonardo. How do y'all train? Like train, like fitness. I'm on track like cargo. Train, train. I'm on track, track, train, track. Cargo, train, track, cargo. The double entendre there. This boy's a genius with his spit. Play tennis with Leonardo. How y'all train on track like cargo? I go dumb, don't dumb it up. Don't fuck on planes, but I'm coming up. Ooh. Add up my views to sum it up. I was just on Sports Center. Dun -dun -dun. I think this. I almost got up. I, I don't like to get up when I react, but the boy just used the Sports Center theme sound. He used the onomatopoeia as a rhyme for the bar. I don't fuck on planes, but I'm coming up. Like if you did fuck on a plane, you're ejaculating up in the sky, so you're technically coming up. He's coming up in the rap game. He's coming up in his success. Out of my views to sum it up that I'm the greatest. Adding, sum it up. I was just on SportsCenter. Da-na-na, da-na-na. That's a bar. I have no words. For as much as I'm talking, I'm pretty speechless. Add up my views to sum it up. I was just on Sports Center. Da -da -da. I think this is good. I've done enough. My hair just look mad like son of a. Now let me go and finish on my album, Jesse Smollett. You know I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh! oh look at his face. Look at how fucking he knows he just said some sensitive shit. And that's how he ends the freestyle? All oh, my haters looking mad like son of a, son of a bitch. Jesse Smollett, you know I'm about to go fuck it up. That's such a sensitive topic. And here comes this white rapper culturally appropriating hip hop for his own benefit because the boy's got bars and he ends his verse like that? Jesse Smollett? God, that's such a weird story. But look at but look at little Dicky's face after he says it. And listen to Sway, he's like, Sway's like, oh, I know this dude didn't fucking say that too on my show. Look at his face though when he says it. He's like, my head is looking mad like I can't believe I went there, but I went there and fuck it. Finish on my album, Jesse Smollett, you know I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh look at him, look at him. Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> That's how you gonna leave? I, I'm fucking out of here. I got interviews to do. See y'all bitches later. <laughs> Let that sizzle in your spirit, like Country Wayne says. <laughs> look at Sway. Sway's like this motherfucker. Like he's laughing, but look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at him. This motherfucker, right? <laughs> Damn. That was cool, right? He said it. <laughs> cool, right? He, this dude just shot, just believed, like, whoa. 
That last line. He that was a hold up, hold up. Is that Keenan? Is that Kel? Who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. I do, I do, I do. That man did that Yo. right now. <laughs> That last line, he always does a line that gets to me, man. There's always a line that gets to me, he said. The one and only Lil Dicky, ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. You're a man of your word. That was fire. <laughs> Flawless execution. That went hard. I'm telling you, if y'all are sleeping, you need to wake the fuck up, set your alarm clock, and put in Lil Dicky on there. Because y'all need to wake up to this man already. The dude's got bars. And when he's not coming with the hardest bars ever, he's coming with some of the strongest conceptualized songs I've ever heard. His whole first album, half the album, is just conceptualized songs. He's got pillow talking, where he's talking to a chick for 10 minutes after they smash, realizing that they kind of don't have anything in common. And it goes so hard. He's got Truman, where he feels like he's literally living his life like the Truman Show. He's got Save That Money, where he literally records a documentary, a mini documentary, about how he goes around making this music video for free, saving that money. Music video's got like 20 million views. And then he's got a professional rapper where he's literally interviewing with Snoop Dogg, who's the head of the rap corporation, for a spot to be a rapper in his company. But then you also got Freestyle Little Dicky that just goes in for the sake of going in. Always hype for Dicky Freestyle. He did it again, two for two on Sway in the Morning. Three for three if you include Tim Westwood. Appreciate y'all guys watching this. I know this video was mad long because there's so much to break down in six minutes. So if you made it all the way through, really appreciate that. If this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's about right here. If this is not your first time here and this is your second or third video, consider even more so. And if you're currently subscribed and you're part of the third fam, appreciate y'all guys as always. But it's midnight. It's about that time for me to hit the hay. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.